Hi. Hello. Don't we look orange? We'll tell you about that in a minute. We, we are, we're late because we've been trying to figure out the screen. Like, um, okay, I think, <laughs> look at what happens when Bob steps away. It's always look, my fault. Wait, look at what happens when Bob steps away. All of a sudden, I look like a normal color, not like orange, you know? And then now, Bob comes back, and we've been trying to figure out why is it doing that. Hang on. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Don't do anything yet. So, um, here's what we... Oh, no. There was a new device. Oh, here's a, a little thing that says that you can have a filter. Okay. We could be... We could go hey, black and white. Hey, it's 1956. <laughs> Adjust the like rabbit <laughs> ears. Adjust the rabbit ears. That's called, I don't know what it's called. I can't read it. But here's another one. This one's called Country. This is called Pop, I think. It seems like it's Hi, everybody. bright sunlight there. Ooh. Hey. It's like we're wow. in a disco hey, place. What's a nice girl like, like you doing? Or we're in hell. In a basement like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about this one? Oh. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I think that's uh, all. You know, I feel like... We were really not playing feel, around All of a with... sudden, I feel like Jonathan Winters when they used to give him props and he'd say anything. Cubs win. Did you know that? Was it one nothing? Wow. Okay, hang on. All right. Thank you for the love. But notice how orange we look. Right, now, look what we happens when I, figure when I it change. Out. I change shirts. I blamed Bob, and I said, Bob, it's, it's the because... Blue, the blue shirt. It's because of your light blue shirt. Okay. And so... Why are you off, off camera? Putting because that I don't on. want people to see that I've got my pants off. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I wanted you to put it on, like on camera, so we could see the difference. Now everything's fine, right? That is what? so weird. Okay, take off the shirt. Orange. See, it's the light blue shirt. Why does the blue make it orange? That is the weirdest thing. Okay, how are y'all doing? It's late. Sorry, it's so late. Yeah, keep that closed. Hi, kids. What are you doing here on the playground so late? We'll edit that out. Hey, look, you know what happened last night? First of all, in the Facebook Live contest for the uh, Emerald Legacy book, it was really funny. Yeah. Did you figure it out? Yes, I did figure it out. Was it... Um, this is the book. Was it Lynn or was it who? Jim. Jim. Jim sends me a, Jim, Jim sends me a picture of himself uh, with the book, saying thank you, but I have the book, and he sent me a picture of of, him, of himself with the book, and then oh. Lynn says I don't want the book, give it to Jim. So we'll try again because neither of them wanted the book. Maybe Lynn was just trying to be nice. I, I don't think so. Lynn, are you with us tonight? We can't. We let us know. We don't know. Let if you're know. with us tonight, let us know if you want and the book. We have a, on our regular Facebook, on our Facebook page, we have a uh, picture. Hi, Vicky. Yes, yeah, such a nice day. A crazy picture of me and a caption contest, and we we think we know who won the caption contest. They're going to get Linda. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling? Nice. They're going to get the book by Dr. Ian Smith that we uh, talked about on the radio today. Blast the sugar out. Everything's backwards because we like to read your comments. How are you feeling tonight? Um, she was not feeling feeling good. New Orleans is waiting for us. We're going to New Orleans. Uh, <laughs> we just got a message, a reminder. We, we need to book a flight. That's the problem. And a hotel. And a hotel. We haven't done anything yet. Um, but thanks for the reminder. <laughs> we haven't had time to do anything. Okay, wait a minute. What Kathy else? says, I guess thumbs up before those people. No, really? Well, wait, so Linda is better? I'm glad. Okay. Um, oh, Annette says that was an amazing interview again. Who did we interview today? Ian Smith, Dr. Ian Smith. We love this guy, okay? Have I told you how much I love this guy? <laughs> yeah, you haven't stopped talking no, about it. he's just the nicest guy ever. Lower blood sugar, lose weight, live better, blast the sugar out. Uh, that's among the prizes tonight, along with Emerald Lagasse's TV Dinners Recipe Book. Tell you about Look all of that. Look at that. I just saw a heart go by that had a face on it first. I didn't, I, I've never seen that before. Okay, so Dr. Ian Smith, you can see him. You can see what he looks like, and you, you can see how cute he is. Um, and he demonstrates some exercises for us. He is on the YouTube video that we just posted. 
What are those? Those are exploding thumbs. Exploding thumbs. I love that. So uh, watch our YouTube video. It is, let's see, what is it called? It's called What? And uh, I'm not going to say anything else because we might have a, a little test on that. No, I'm going to tell you. It's called Disgusting News Day and Free Popcorn. And the reason it's Check free it popcorn... Well, you'll find out if you watch it. Well, it's for the same reason that... I, that I am going to. What are you doing? I'm, I'm going you? to, I'm going to uh, <laughs> say congratulations to the winner of the contest we had for the uh, the caption contest for the picture on our Facebook page. But I thought you were ready with that. I you said you said I'm ready. I have the name of the person. I do. No, you don't. <laughs> it's right here. Uh, Hi from Highland, Indiana. Hi, Marilee. How you doing? Uh, Jeanette and Jeanette's name is so long it doesn't fit. On the whole thing. No, it's Jean Della Gardel and then M A S something, but it didn't fit on my phone. But Because you have a an iPhone negative two. <laughs> Jean said, and, and the picture was uh, of me next to this crazy poster. Um, <laughs> you see that? that no, means... Emerald is from New Orleans, not from New York City. Although he has restaurants see that, everywhere. See that picture, there's a picture of me next to a poster for a movie called... Bob oh. is Bob is this one, not this yeah. one. <laughs> Excuse me. How to, uh, how to be a Latin lover. And, and I'm looking very unhappy in the picture. And uh, our winning caption was, Thank you for the privilege of your grime. And, and who won that? And, and we appreciate you, you saying that because Hi we were making... Hi from the Gold Coast. Hi, Jeff. Because we were making fun of Jose Diaz Pilart, who does the Saturday night. Uh, I was not making fun of Jose Diaz Pilart. He's my buddy. He I does, don't make fun of him. He does the Saturday night NBC Nightly News, and that's his sign off. Thank you for the privilege of your time. So, uh, Jean Della Gardel something said, Thank you for the privilege of your grime. I thought that was creative. So, that was. Jean, uh, I need Hi to from Belvedere. I need to know what your last name is, and then I need to know where to send. Uh, the book that we're going to give you, the Dr. Smith book. So please send an email with your contact info. Remind me that you won the uh, Blast the Sugar book, the diet book, and email that to me. And the address is Bob and Marianne at WLSAM.com. That's Bob and Marianne at WLSAM.com. Okay, and then uh, I'm glad that you brought up that book because I want to tell you about the contest that Dr. Um, Dr. Ian Smith is having this week for his Chicago peeps, is what he says. But I need to find his his email address because it's a cool contest, but you need to email him. All right. Hello, We're Carpentersville. Waiting for things to. You like All right. you, like, you like blue better than pink. You know, it's not even making a difference anymore. I mean, every we still look super orange. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm almost there. I'm trying to get his. His uh, email <laughs> address. Okay, here we go. Almost. All right. So you can win. Let's show. Let's show what he gave us today. Oh. Okay. Popcorn. Yes. So he came. He came in. Shred pop. It says shred pop. This is the best popcorn. I'm not kidding you. Oh my God. What is? It? What it's tasty. Do? So he came in with this box, and it was filled with these bags of. Shred pop. Hello, moments. This is, this is what I love about this popcorn, okay? Well, I had a cheddar cheese one, which was really great. I guess they're all different flavors. Sea salt. It's got five grams of fiber, gluten-free, vegan, whole grain, non-GMO corn, zero saturated fat, zero cholesterol, no MSG, less fat, only 100 calories. This is what I want to take to the movies with me all the time, except I want go. to take a larger bag. They sell it at Whole uh, Foods, I think. Whole Foods and Treasure Island. And so here's what he's saying. So if you take a picture of yourself with the book, like go to a bookstore and take a picture of yourself with the book or order it, okay? Or who, who won one tonight? The person who won that contest. The yeah. caption contest. Yeah, the caption contest. Okay, so you take a picture of yourself, a selfie, and then you email it to him. Hello, at Largo, Florida. At Blast the sugar out at gmail.com. This is Larry King. Hello, Largo. Blast the sugar out at, at gmail.com. That's the name of his book. Blast the sugar out at gmail.com. He'll send you a box of popcorn. 
for oh, free. How about that? Yeah, so do it. What a great country. No, it's a really great deal. Our daughter now wants to do it because she wants her own box of popcorn. Blast the sugar out at gmail.com and he will personally send you a box. All right, how are we going to give away the, um, the emerald? Wait, what else is happening? Wants? Let's, let's I don't know. What figure is, what out what else, else is, is happening. What else is happening? Let's okay. see. What, I'll tell you what people are talking The YouTube dilemma. About. Here's the YouTube dilemma, okay? Tell me when you're listening. I'm listening right now because I'm multitasking. What are you doing? I'm, I'm figuring out what is trending at the moment. Oh, tomorrow on our radio show, Arsenio Hall. How about that? Uh, in the 11 a.m. I eat noon, it. In the 11 a.m. to noon hour, Central Time, WLSAM.com or WLSAM 890 if you're in Chicago. Okay. What so should we ask Arsenio? You got any questions for Arsenio? Pass oh, him, yeah. Pass them along. Marlins were sold to Jeter and Bush. Marlins were sold to Jeter and Bush? Really? I knew, I, even I heard that that was in the works. Derek Jeter? Yeah. And I don't know George Bush? Bush? Or, no, I don't know who Bush is. <laughs> or Bush Bessie, Jeter. <laughs> tell us. Uh, you oh, there, here you go. go. Yeah, it's, De it's Jeb Bush. Jeb and, Bush. An investment group led by Derek Jeter and Jeb Bush Thanks, reached Essie. an agreement to buy the Miami-based MLB team for $1.3 billion dollars. How about yeah, that? Yeah, Bush. Well, maybe the team Jeff will Bush. will be good and run properly because wasn't that guy kind of nutty who who owned him? What was his name? Loria or something? I don't know. I don't know. Um, don't we like Derek Derek Jeter? I do. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. All right. So yeah. well, that's a good thing, and everybody's happy because the the Cubs won. Jeffrey Loria was the Dave guy. McBride just joined us. Aren't you in Je Jamaica? Je Are you in Jamaica it was, or not? Je it was, because I it thought was, I saw you in pictures in Jamaica. It was Jeffrey Loria. That was the name. Okay. Um, I, the messages are going by too fast. Yeah, Loria. That's right. Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Hi. The messages are happening so fast. What happened to Arsenio? Arsenio. What happened to him? Yeah. So why was Arsenio Hall like not in the public eye for so many years. We'll ask him tomorrow. I was, I was reading up a little bit about him today since we are going to interview him tomorrow. And on like the Oprah page, it said that he had decided to like raise his that children. Was, that was when, when the last TV show he did, he did the comeback TV show that I think was on Channel 9 here. That ended. And then he said, I'm just going to be a stay-at-home stay dad. And George, now he's around the country doing right. his stand-up comedy, which he used to do when he first started. He's going to be at the City Winery here Saturday night, and we'll talk to him on the radio tomorrow. George says, ask Arsenio if he still hangs out with Eddie Murphy. Okay. Ken says, a fool and his money. Why buy the Marlins? <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you. You want to know why? All that know matters why? is that you see my comment. I saw it, Joan. I'll tell you why. Why? Here's why, why you buy the matter? Marlins. Because yeah. Jeffrey Loria bought, bought the Marlins in 2002 for $158 million. And now they're being sold for $1.3 billion. That's why you so buy then, them. So then next time it'll be, they'll be sold for like $2.4 billion. Who knows? Well, yeah, it can't be. I know. I mean, do they make that much money? Becky says, Beaches, Sunshine, and me. Lori says, why not come back to WGN Radio? Don't, do you listen to us on <laughs> WLS Radio? Well, hold it's on just a, a different number on the dial. Hold on, Lori. We well, have what, a job. No, here, this is what Lori, I think, had in mind. Lori asks the question, why not come back? And we, we say... Hey, we, really, we haven't thought about that. That might be interesting. <laughs> okay, we'll just walk in there tomorrow and do our show. Because <laughs> it's not up to us. Well, it's up to us to say uh, yes or no. Somebody's calling us the, the Sonny and Cher of Facebook. <laughs> you know, thank you so much, Marianne. I think that we once tried to sing that in it, karaoke. It is all TV money. Jim's right. Yeah, <laughs> baseball. Yeah, it's all TV money. Vicky, thanks for listening anywhere. Yeah, I mean, oh, uh, we're happy you. over at uh, WLSAM 890. It's uh, 
it's a beautiful studio there in the NBC Tower now, and uh, actually the other uh, stations owned by the company we work for, Cumulus, they're all there, The Loop, KQX, WLS-FM, so it's kind of a cool place. Radio City, I'm going to start calling it Radio City. Radio, Radio City. Radio City, Just because yeah. there's four stations. GN was okay. cool, that showcase studio, but, you know, it was kind of like... Uh, it was just the one station and the one studio there, and got kind of it was kind of it's kind of isolated. And besides, that building is, you know, they're going to have to move out of there. The parking lot that we had, they're going to build a building on that parking lot. And besides, so they we just fired decided, us. Oh, and then that was that. <laughs> they didn't fire us. Don't say that. No, they just didn't. Uh, that, that, didn't no, firing, offer us to firing, continue firing working impl- there. Firing implies. You've done your last show, get your stuff, get out of here. The security guard will escort you out of the building. Now, knock on wood, I've never been fired no, like, like that. I've had contracts not renewed. I've, I've been taken off shows. Is that what happened but at I, WGN, contract not renewed? Well, what happened at WGN, it was friendly, and then we got to do an extra, an extra you know, they said, do you want to, you know, we understand if you just, you want to, we, we, we're out of money, we need money, we have to cut back, we love you, we love your show, ratings are great, revenue is great, but we can't afford you guys anymore, so, uh, you know, that's, do you guys want to leave today, and, or do you want to stay for a couple weeks, and we said, oh, we'll stay for a couple weeks and do some last show, so whenever they let you do a last show, that means, that they means still every, like everything's you. nice, because Except usually the you're, job told, part. you're told you've just done your last show, that way you can't go on the air and say, now if you'll permit me a personal note. I have a thing or two to say about the <laughs> not, the nong nongs who run this station. You know, if you ever hear well, somebody did they on ever TV, do that? If you ever hear somebody on TV or radio start a sentence with "Now, if you'll permit me a personal note, <laughs> uh, tape it because it's going to be something great." All right, we got to go. So let's no, give we away don't. The book. Wait, yeah, we do. Chris says can't, can't afford you, but they can afford playing the same songs every twenty minutes. WGN. What exactly does that mean? Because they don't play music at WGN. <laughs> Do they? Here's how you Are can they win doing the, that now? No. Here's how they can win. Okay. The, anyway, here's how you can win the Emerald Book. I am really grateful that you're asking about all these things, and those are the kinds of things that I think we should be talking about. They hey, they got rid of the Cubs for Christ's sake. They got right? rid of the Cubs. They couldn't and afford then us. the Cubs, so if they can't afford the Cubs, you think they're going to keep us around? <laughs> if they, why? We don't get paid what they paid the Cubs. Well, no, but if you know if if you're gonna do something that drastic, then it's no big deal to you know uh, pare down the the, the on the air staff. Well, what right? really happened? Do we know? I mean, like they had yeah, a lot, I know they had a lot of failures. I know what happened. There were failures. Okay, they got rid of the Cubs. <laughs> they got rid of the, that radio station that they had. The game. Whatever happened it. to the game? They didn't get rid of it. Well, that 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 was supposed to be like this huge, <laughs> it didn't work great, out. perfect. It didn't the work next. Out. Great thing. 80, Somebody's 87, vision. 7 FM. It didn't even make sense. 87, 7 and then FM. all these really nice people that they yeah. hired that we grew to love in the few short months that they were there. Now. Suddenly, it's like nobody has a job now, anymore. 87, 7 oh FM God. now is that cool uh, oldie station. Okay. And let's so, let's go with this so we, contest. Come on. We, 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 I, I want to know what it is that you're in a hurry to do. I, to, to, I, I have things to do. All right. They got rid of Kathy and Judy. Right. Well, wow, this is a White Sox shirt, I know. Yeah. We gave away one of these. Maybe we'll give away more. But right now we're giving away this Emerald Lagasse book. I, okay, have we determined if Lynn is listening? Well... Hang on. Lynn, are you listening tonight? Are yeah. you with us tonight? Oh, it would be watching, not listening. Um... And watching. Sorry. Uh, well, you know what? We can he- we can hear from her down the road and straighten that out. In the meantime, let's let's give away the book. We've given away one book already. All right. I'll just do the contest. If you go to our YouTube Hang page, <laughs> if you go to the Surratt Mercy YouTube channel. What are we channel, giving away? <laughs> bang, zoom. <laughs> the Emerald Book. But how do we know that, that uh, Lynn isn't... It's there. You know and what? Doesn't want she doesn't it. want the book. If she wants another prize, did she you can guys get, in get touch. sacked? Did you guys get sacked? Does that mean? Well, I mean, fired. It, yeah. Well, I WGN sort of fired Gary Meyer with an asterisk. They, they fired him first. <laughs> then they fired us. Then they fired. Then no. Then they got rid of the Cubs. No, 
They fired Gary Meyer. They fired the Cubs. They got rid of <laughs> the game. The which game, is, which is the all which sports is the, FM station that they own. Yeah, right? the radio station that was supposed to be like the next big thing that lasted less than a year. Yeah. Okay. And left a lot of people out of work and it was really sad. Then they got rid of the Cubs. Another great decision, right? Is that bad? Go on. And then us. <laughs> Wasn't it? The last one was the only one that I really cared about. It was a financial decision to uh, cut the contract with the Cubs. It turned, uh, you know, and as us. far as the bottom line, it was a good decision. As far as the bottom line and money saving, those were all good decisions for them. Now, were they short sighted? That's debatable, but it was the right decision at the time. Don't you have any opinions? I just gave you. Mine. You? I just no, gave you mine. said, was it short sighted? Maybe, maybe <laughs> yes, maybe no. This is what's wrong with this country today. This is what's Nobody. wrong with politics today. And you know when I do this, it's a serious message. What's wrong with this country today? Nobody is says, what? nobody says, I don't know, let me think about it. Or maybe yes, maybe no. Everybody's got an opinion. But you you're don't. Either, you're either all. You that, don't have that, an opinion. Thank you. You're either all bad or you're all good. You can either do no right or you can do no wrong. It's never, well, I like uh, what he did here, but I don't like what he did there. And that's what's wrong with this country, right? You want, I, I, just once I'd like to hear a politician say, hmm, I, you know, let me think about that. <laughs> okay, I want to talk now about YouTube. I'm giving away this book. No, not yet. And then I'm going to sleep. Not yet. All right, here's what about, you do. No, listen, I want to talk about YouTube okay. because... You know that every night that we're with you here, we put a link up to our YouTube page. Well, I was just watching a YouTube channel that I normally watch, and the guy was talking about how hey, all these people are wait, leaving wait, wait a minute. YouTube. Excuse me, Vicky. What about Steve Dolly's on in the afternoon on WLX? Okay, good. What did Vicky say? Uh, that's between me and Vicky. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Shannon. And we love Steve anyway. Um, so, uh, so this guy was talking about YouTube and he was talking about how all these people are, are, you know, all these creators are leaving YouTube because their YouTube videos are not getting monetized. Now, do you know anything about this? So, the way that it used to be, the way, the reason that all these people got really big is because, and very rich and very, um, able to, you know, uh, to have shows and all this stuff was because... YouTube was paying a lot of money in, in exchange for running ads on the videos, okay? <laughs> so now, I don't know, people are up in arms about the fact that YouTube is restricting some of the content. I don't even know if any of our content is restricted, but if it is, then you, it is not shown to, you, the advertisers don't advertise on it, and then nobody makes any money. So, um, you know, we're working so hard doing these videos and posting like sometimes twice a day. I just posted one and, um, and then we're going to post this one when we're done. And it's a lot of work and we're not getting paid for it. Somebody asked earlier, are you getting paid now? Well, yes, we're getting paid on WLS. We're not getting paid. <laughs> well, it's not volunteer work. It's right, exactly. It's but it's not, but we're not getting paid to do this. No. And we're not getting be paid. With, be with you at night. And yes. It's fun. And it is fun, but it is time consuming also to do those YouTube videos, and we're not getting paid for those either. Even though we're trying to, but it's like very, very slow growth. So we're, I'm trying to figure out, like, I want to talk to somebody who can explain it to me because. The thing about YouTube is that they don't talk to anybody. They don't tell you these things. So we're just trying to learn it. And we'll see what happens. And now for the contest. Not getting paid, but it is good marketing. Yes, it is good marketing. Yeah, um, very helpful. I think that it, it's not very, that you do, what? Just, just give away the book, will you? <laughs> All right, first person to post a comment with the correct answer gets the book. But we have to... Um, Get them to go to our YouTube page. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's a good recipe book, Emerald Lagasse. Bam! And subscribe if you haven't. All right. And, and by the way, speaking of subscribing. Here's the question. That's how you do. Speaking of subscribing, I, I brought this up yesterday and a lot of people listened. But if you have ever liked 
anything on our page, on our Surat and Murciano Facebook page, if you've ever liked anything, I have personally invited you to like the page. So uh, we can only invite you one time. So look back and we might have invited you. And if we have, like our page because that helps us and also that keeps you in touch with us. You don't miss um, our material if that's what you want. You want to join us mm -hmm. uh, for these things. Hey, okay. big shout out to uh, our friend Benny at Volare, the restaurant, oh. which is uh, not far from the NBC Tower where our studios are. That's a really, yes, Tom. That's a really great place. We have two recommendations for Italian restaurants right now in Chicago, Volare and Il Porcellino, only we can't figure out whether it's Il Porcellino or Il Porcellino. I, there but, are, but it's, that one's on Hubbard. I have four favorite Italian restaurants in Chicago, and these are the four best Italian restaurants that I can remember right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> one is Il Porcellino. Uh -huh. On the Hub other one, on Hubbard. The other one is Volare. Which is uh, that's Benny's street? place. Is that St. Clair? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, it's, it's tucked Tower. away. Yeah, and it's packed all the time, by yeah. the way. Oh, La, La Scarola, Scarola yeah. is yeah. the other one. Yeah. And Hole in the Wall. Yeah, up in Northbrook. Yeah, mm -hmm. those four are the you ones just, that I can think of right now. You can just eat at those yeah. four restaurants the rest of your life. The rest of your life. But, but uh, Benny has... These amazing dishes. The okay, the vodka sauce that at, he at puts Vol at Volare. At Volare. Mm -hmm. The vodka sauce there, you could just like drink a pail of it. I mean, it's so good. Okay, how do we give away the book? <laughs> if you go to our YouTube page, answer yeah. this question. Yeah, we want you to the go first to our... person to post this answer. You win the book. Well, here's well the, have you seen our question, video, Marianne? Well, have you seen our video? Is it something in the video? I can, I mean, we can have, we can... Here, just make it like that title. No, that because note. I already said the title. Oh, okay. So, okay, you have to look at the first, latest How about the, fir the first story we cover in that video? No, how no. about, oh, how okay. about at the end? Okay. At the end of that video... The most so, recent post. The most recent post. On our YouTube channel. On, a, on the thumbnail, it says, what? Okay, mm -hmm. at the very, very end of the video, Dr. Ian Smith is with us mm -hmm. and he's doing something what's he doing it's very obvious what he's doing he's demonstrating something <laughs> we're are not going to be we're not going to be able to announce the winner here yes we before are we say good night because it, you got to watch the oh, video thank you Russell. so we'll look at the comments they later just, and no. pick the winner later no 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 we can do it right now we can no, then you got to wait for somebody to watch the whole video and come back here and post. Have fun in Fort Myers tomorrow. Thanks, Russell. We'll be thinking of you, too. What are you doing? Who's going to Fort Myers? Um, Russell. Russell is All going right. to... So we'll see you on the radio tomorrow, and then we'll, uh, we'll look for the winning comment later. Gary, you're just guessing. Whoever and does win. you're guessing. Whoever does win. <laughs> Steve, you're guessing. And you'll know if you win. Gary, you're guessing. Becky, you're guessing. You'll know if you win because you will be, um, you will see your comment up there first before anybody else with the right answer, right? Gary then, is laughing because I caught you. You're you just guessing. To, then you have to email me uh, your name and what you won and your address so I can send it to you. Email, Chris, email Bob and Marianne at WLSAM.com. Chris is in, uh, his, says his uncle is in Sanibel Island right now. Have you ever been to Sanibel Island? Look at how orange we look. Okay, wait, I'm going to, wait, no, not yet, <laughs> not yet. How about if we, scammers? It's 1958. Yeah, uh, do you your like us in black and white? Just your rabbit ears. Has anybody figured out what Dr. Ian Smith is doing? You can't figure it out. You in that video? At the video You've got to look it at the video. It takes a while. It takes a okay, while. Okay, so the first person to, to uh, you know, write the correct answer, I'm going to get rid of this black and white thing. No filter. No filter. There we go. Mariana will finish up tonight. I'll see you. No. Well, come on. We, what is, what is your problem? I, I have to do something. <laughs> what do you have to do? <laughs> I have to make a call. Who, who are you calling? I don't know. Color is better. Um, who are you calling? I don't know. Bye. All right. Um, bye. <laughs>